We just looked at similarity just using angles, and now we're going to look at similarity using sides. So what I'm going to say is that these two triangles, all three sets of sides are proportional. The red triangle has a scale factor applied to it, the red side here, to get the 23. So 12.8 times 1.8 is about 23. By the way, I've got rounding turned on, so uh, it may not be perfect. And if I change this, you can see the red side gets bigger. Okay, and the same thing for the blue side. We put the same scale factor on the blue side to create the other blue side, and the green side to create the green side. So the scale factor, let me go ahead and change it to an easy number like 2. And if I have a scale factor here and all the sides are proportional, and you can see they are because the ratios here actually are all equivalent, then do I know that the triangles are similar? Well, they definitely look similar. But one thing I can verify it with is by checking the angles. So I'll turn the angles on. And you can see the smallest angle is 29.5, which is across from the smallest side. And that's handy to know. Uh, the largest angle is 103.1. Well, let's check the other one. Oh, they match. 103.1 is across from the largest side, and 29.5 is across from the smallest side. I could check the middle side, but we know that the third angles are going to have to match by the third angle congruence there. So we can best definitely say that if all the sides are proportional, all of the angles are congruent, which leads us to the side, side, side similarity theorem. If three sets of corresponding sides of a triangle are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So I'm not going to do a proof this time. What I'm going to, uh, sometimes you're going to be asked to verify if uh, triangles are proportional or any polygons in general. If the ratios are equivalent, there, there are a couple different strategies. I could say take the 8 to the 24 and, um, I'm sorry, make sure you use small to small. So in this case, 8 to 16 and the 12 to 24 and the 16 to 48 and see if they give me all the same ratio. And that's a very good way to do it. I'm going to actually use a simpler way right now because all of those ratios should simplify to the same original triangle. If I gave you 6 eighths, and I gave you 15 over 20, those are all equivalent to 3 over 4. So you simplify both of them instead of trying to make 6 over 8 exactly match 15 over 20. So on the first triangle, I can see all three sides are divisible by 4. So, oops, excuse that, don't worry about the S there. So that's 2, 3, and 4. So I'm simplifying it to the original triangle. The second one, they're all divisible by 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2, 24 divided by 8 is 3, 48 divided by 8 is 6. The last one, they're all divisible by 6. So the 12 changes to 2, the 3 changes to, uh, the 18 changes to 3, and the 24 changes to 4. So the only two triangles that simplify to the same thing are the first and the last triangles. Now to determine the similarity statement, it's really helpful to use the angles instead of the sides. So what I'm going to suggest we do is mark the uh, corresponding angles. And the easiest thing to do is to figure out which angle is the smallest. Now you're probably saying, wait, Mrs. Overman, those all look like equilateral triangles. I can't tell which angle is the smallest. But actually you can. Because remember, the smallest angle is opposite the smallest side. So. There we go, angle C is the smallest because it's across from side 2. Angle F is the smallest, so it's across from side 2 as well. Then the next smallest would be angle A and angle D. So if I'm doing my similarity statement, if I go A, B, C, then that's blue, clear, red. That should go with blue, clear, red, D, E, F. And that's my similarity statement. So for further reflection, why do triangles have to be similar if all three sets of sides are proportional? Well, remember, if you're applying a scale factor to create all three sides, which means they're proportional, that's what we do when we create similar triangles and polygons. Also, what strategy is useful when you don't know the similarity statement, but you do know all of the sides? Well. A couple of things. One, notice how we use the opposites. Um, the largest side is opposite the largest angle. 
and that's just to get everything in the right order. So that was the last thing we did on the example. Additionally, if you're trying to figure out which are similar out of a whole bunch of them, just simplify the ratios. Try to make, go back to the smallest polygon that can be made. Now remember, they have to be the same shape. So if they're not the same shape, they're not automatically not similar. Then finally, how can you find missing sides if you know the scale factor and the pre-image sides? So on your individual practice, you're trying to fill out the other sides for the triangle. Just take the scale factor and multiply it by the original to get the final.